What are the benefits of biometrics then? The first, of course, is that it can be highly accurate. If I am able to do an iris scan, I have no zip, nada, in terms of false positives and a very, very low rate of false negatives. It is one of the most popular emerging biometric technologies in existence. In addition, it can be quite rapid. Most of the iris scanners are able to identify the iris and correctly identify and authenticate the person in less than a second. This is very important because users are used to submitting their username and a password quite quickly, within one to three seconds. Having a biometric device that can match that capability means that you maintain user expectations and you don't frustrate your users, one of the most important goals of implementing any security feature. The next concept we want to look at is low user impact. Now, not all biometric devices provide this. Uh, for instance, the fingerprint scanner really is kind of invasive. You have to touch your fingerprint where a lot of other people have, and, well, perhaps this is kind of squeamish for people worried about germs, especially doctors. And in fact, this is where the emergent research into iris scanners came from. You had doctors who were in the middle of an operation, bloody, they had their gloves on, and they needed to authorize the admission of drugs to a patient who was lying on the operating table. And this actually was one of the pushes, the emphasis for finding a biometric device that could be used very quickly without being an invasive. And iris scanners certainly fit the bill. They're cheap, they're fast, and they're accurate. Finally, biometric devices provide us with a whole range of alternatives. Iris scanners for the doctors who simply just can't take off their gloves. There's also, however, hand scanners that look at the outline of the hand and the bone. They're more accurate and less problematic than fingerprint scanners, but they're still quite inexpensive compared even to iris scanners.